Greetings once again, good people. And uh, we continue today with our Chapman's Peak slash Nordhook seascape. Um, so, the previous session we just worked up on the charcoal predominantly and a uh, little bit of um, um, highlights and low lights and what have you and just bring it, building up the uh, the form of the piece um, and today we continue and 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 uh, during this session we'll also begin to introduce some color into this band over here where the wave is and a little bit down in this in this more foreground um, water surface area so let me get to it um, I'm just going to as I gather my thoughts I'm just going to be just working with a little bit of charcoal once again and uh, I like to whenever I complete a session I don't come back to this piece and and mull over it and contemplate and what have you I just like to leave it to to settle um, for the artwork to contemplate itself <laughs> without my presence and uh, and then rejoin for the next session fresh um, so as I sit down to this piece I am allowing it to 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 settle in and become acquainted with it once again and just start pick up where I left off during the previous session that way I think that the, uh, the process then takes on a more natural, as it should be, um, kind of approach. So yes, that's my, that's my theory about it all. I shall stick to that theory, no matter what. So. Incidentally, I am, and I'm going to, the story that I was telling yesterday about the uh, BMW Beats the Benz ad campaign, I have, uh, I have found the videos, the video footage of those, of those particular ads for your perusal, so um, I've, I've, uh, added the links in the comment section below below the video so uh, you're welcome to go and have a look at those and uh, and uh, and yeah it's, it's quite interesting and uh, the uh, the follow-up to that ad campaign um, the um, Obviously, the, the, the ad agency incidentally was Huntless Chorus that did the BMW ads. And they were fully aware that, that uh, Mercedes-Benz was, was, was more than likely going to object to the, to the ad. Um, so they only had it for, up for flighting for air, for airtime over the over three days over the weekend over a, a long weekend i think and uh, this this was in 1990 by the way so uh um quite some years ago <laughs> three decades ago and more um and so they anticipated the objection with with the um advertising um whatever board it was that uh, that is the regulator in, in for advertising now it's just slipped my mind what it was called again um, and uh, and yet <clears throat> so so and so even with that that they it, it, it became a, sen a, a, a sensation overnight um, it literally became a, a, a talking point 
um, in pubs and what have you um, with petrol heads and and the like uh, throughout the country and uh, it was a brilliantly it was a brilliantly set cheeky but and and, and a bit naughty but uh, nevertheless brilliantly done brilliantly executed well timed etc and all of that stuff uh, So yeah, it flight it, it 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 aired over the weekend, and then was and then was brought brought down. In any case, of course the uh, the regulatory board um, did object. However, didn't didn't demand its removal because that depends on the opposing. Uh, advertiser that being mercedes-benz however they chose not to comment and not and, and and not to respond at all which actually <clears throat> which actually gave them um put both or both companies in a very good light and it actually just fueled the whole <clears throat> the whole um actually gained gained mercedes benz mercedes benz some some, some a, a lot of traction if not more so than bmw because the assumption is always that 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 mercedes benz is built stronger um and and so on so so both ads both advertising campaigns were very very clever very very well done um mercedes benz actually used a a, a a real life story um, and yeah so it, w it went down really well in all respects um, so hats hats off to, to, to both advertising companies that were responsible for both Mercedes-Benz and BMW um, um, Sonnenberg blah 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 whatever it was I've put I've, I've I've named the advertising agencies concerned in the also in the comments um, in the description sorry description not comments um, down below so you're welcome to go and have a look and, and the only reason I, as I said I've, I, I was reminded of that particular ad as I'm working on my on this artwork was because of Chapman's Peak Drive and and uh, <clears throat> the proximity to where those both of the adverts were filmed um, right here right, right close by here so um, yeah fascinating stuff I really I really love that kind of um, comparative slash competitive advertising it's it's it adds it adds spice and it actually it, it uh, the competitiveness of it um, to my mind um, really adds spice and and also it also bolsters sales and market share for 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 all parties concerned to be honest because it it it, it always encourages it encourages comment and it encourages discussion and 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 so on from both from both sides and as I said um, as I mentioned in, in, in the pre previous episode um, uh, session, um, you know, you're always going to get your supporters of either Mercedes Benz or BMW or Audi or, or whoever. Um, uh, you get loyal, you get loyal, um, loyal drivers, and they will always choose, more than likely, always choose the same. So, um, it's all tongue in cheek. It's all in good, in good fun. With respect, of course, <clears throat> between car manufacturers, and I think it's healthy. And I think it, it keeps. It, I think it keeps manufacturers on their toes. Not to mention advertising agencies as well, because now there's this. There's this. There's always been a. You know, amongst the top agencies, there's always a 
a kind of a rapport and yet there's there's competitiveness as well to, to land certain accounts etc <clears throat> and I would assume that I'm not sure if if, if the uh, well I, I know that Huntler Scaras merged with and became part of T, T, TBWA um, many years ago um, but I would assume that that both the organizer both advertising agencies are still handling those same accounts I don't know maybe they are maybe they aren't I haven't kept up with the trends in, <clears throat> in advertising circles for years now um, it just it's simply of interest to me that's all right um, so knock yourself out with that um, with those ads they they're very very interesting and very well very well done very cleverly done and I you know it, it, it you know just to finish off with that you know now the the rules about competitive advertising well especially in South Africa I don't know about I don't know about other parts of the world but um, they are very very regulated and and quite strict and you can't say certain things oh, well it's like politics and everything else it's just it's like the work the work um, among us um, anyway yeah what can you do it's part of life these days and and, and I think I think it's the world is a more boring place because of it. <laughs> we always used to look forward to those ads. It, it got people actually watching the adverts because, okay, now we've got we've got Netflix and Showmax and all these different things, so we very seldom watch the, the 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 usual TV channels except for maybe maybe news and whatever. And even then, so news during news time, those are the, those those are the times that are that are peak for for advertisers. So um, you know it. It make you know we we adverts are now boring because we don't want to watch them. But previously we would we would anticipate these these interesting ad campaigns that came on and and yes today they're still clever. But I think that the the competitiveness of amongst um, amongst brands and advertisers without without compromising each other or yourselves as, as the advertiser um, without actually being nasty about it or directly you know saying that that the, your your opposition is is bad um, that's just not not cricket um, I think competitive comparative advertising is is very healthy. It's healthy for not only for the for the advertisers, but also for the consumers, for the brand, for the market, the marketplace. Keeps everyone on their toes, and I like that. I think it should be it should be free and fair. Right. Anyway, enough prattle about that subject it was just a something pertinent to this particular heart work I suppose anywho then let's put in some color into this piece uh, I think I think I think I stink background background C to begin with and I want to and you'll see what I'm going to do here because I want to Put it in quite strong and then knock it back completely. So let me just concentrate on this for a moment. Let me just rather do this. 
And here's a little a little piece of strip of paper just to just to give me that nice line crisp line to begin with. go that'll be spot on yeah that's quite nice and just just give it a bit of a, a, a little bit of crispness you see um, To reduce it quite drastically with my paintbrush so that it's <sighs> subdued. Yeah, because most of this is going to be spray. Those uh, feathering, the, the, the feathered tops of the waves, sending the, the, the offshore wind, sending plumes of spray high into the air, tumbling with this with the with the wave as well. So yeah, that's going to be that's going to be quite interesting to see develop. For now it's going to look quite strong and uh, anyway that's fine that's fine because a lot of a lot of white is going to come into this piece as well okie dokie then um let's start let's start tangling with this wave now uh, here's where we have this lovely kaleidoscope of color and i'm just going to sort of just just work with it in, in, in the rudimentary form to begin with just bringing in a little bit of this pale blue and then just a hint this bottom area is is going to be much more just of of just hints of 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 the color with a lot of white. This this the surface is pure foam, really um, thinned out very much. Um, but I just want to give it some under color because I'm going to I'm going to build the white on top of it, and you'll get to see what I'm what I mean as I progress with this piece. Just for now, just adding in rudimentary color, very broad and and so on. Here's where the real punch comes in over here. Okay, now next a little bit of. A little bit of Monica by my side. Um, a little bit of lilac. A little bit of lilac in my sea. And once again, I'm going to be using my eraser and softening that a great deal. There's a lot of color in this piece. There's there's a lot of um, let's see now what 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 uh, let's go with something like that. Yeah, that'll that'll do. That'll do. Yeah, 
as I've mentioned on more than one occasion, I, uh, I'm, using, I'm going to be using a, a real broad spectrum of, of uh, hues, Huey Lewis in the news, um, blues and greens and lilacs, from the lilacs through the blues into the greens and a touch of the yellows and, and, uh, and olives. So, and, and, and just a hint of it here and there, some more than other places. Yeah, just building layers here. <clears throat> so that the, the charcoal aspect is that I've done it dark here, but, but fairly dark, and that will start to recede as a, as as color as the color builds playing with this with the use of color here to to just <laughs> almost like your like your aurora borealis lights it's like this it's, they, they 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 come forward and recede um but they all work together to create this sense of movement and a constant movement etc that's the plan uh where are these other colors they get smudged with other with browns and what have you let's actually replenish some of these colors too all the while maintaining the integrity of the form of the wave uh, the shape as it curls as it curls so i'm always working with that with that surface of the of the of the wave the, the wall of the wave um let's just add a little bit more um charcoal here I wanted to just, just to hmm. oh, dark olive here <clears throat> you see now the the colors will also because of this because charcoal and, and and soft pastel or chalk pastel is of similar um constitution um they both are fairly powdery so that they they really work together quite well and blend quite nicely together you can blend the charcoal nicely with the with the pastel to darken it, to darken the pastel, to lighten the charcoal, and yet, and both can mix nicely. They blend very well. This piece is coming together slowly, which is which is great. Um, there, there was a point. There was a point. Um, yesterday when I thought mm, I think maybe that this piece will I'll be able to complete it today but um, uh, I then decided to keep it to the four days um, it just needs it it, it, it requires that um, 
it, there's a fair amount of work here and, and and as I become a little bit more detailed so the, the the progress of the of the work that I'm doing slows down quite measurably so a little bit more uh, slightly slightly darker lilac than the other one just working that in and, and now where it melds with the charcoal it softens slightly as well just darkens take takes on a slightly darker tint there we go see the uh, the the final the final work on this will constitute line work and I'm always always going on about that aren't I um, the importance of line work and that will really I, I, I call line line work the topography of of the artwork because it really pulls it together lays down this mesh of of uh, of line that that kind of just holds everything together and, and also layers because now you look through the line and you see the color behind it's almost like a an opacity um, a looking through uh, just as much as you would look into into the depths of, into the wave itself um, so yeah it's 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 wonderful for that Once again, just a little just a touch of touch of the charcoal. Just gives it that slightly more moody moodiness. And now I need to also use my eraser together with everything else. And once again, always going with the, the curve, curvature of the wave. Just working that up. It's still not going to amount to much visually during this session. Um, got a little over, over 15 minutes left. Um, but nevertheless, we're setting the foundation for the for the real punch, which is going to be the line work and the uh, the acrylic work as well. Of course, the the wrist action also follows the curve naturally. More or less naturally. So I'm really, I'm really working in a spectrum of color, almost, almost right across the range, and blending as well, so that you get. When you look at the piece, it's 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 all just this, this this. Uh, as I say, uh, the, uh, the the way I like to describe it is a, as a kaleidoscope of color. Some a little bit more luminous than others. It just builds in that wonderful intensity of ever shifting.
ever shifting color as it evolves into this into this and, gr and grow the, as the wave builds in its intensity and grows and its motion and everything else so um, yeah that's the plan Stan all right let's bring in a little bit of uh, sort of uh, ochre just a hint just a subtle hint darkening a little bit in certain in certain areas once again using my charcoal to do the deed that's not the one I need to be using right now so let's find that other little stub where is it there it is Right now, now it will start working in a little bit of white, and I'm going to be using at this point my Conte crayon just to just to kind of work with the lip of the wave and as it begins to curl it's more of a flat curve there now i'm working more a little bit more with line work actually which will take us through into our final session there's a lot of line work and you know if you, if you look at the integrity of the wave and how it how it forms and you, and you can just feel it and I, I'm always going on about feeling feeling the subject placing myself here in this in this wonderful on these lo lovely lo rocks and and hearing all the sounds and the, 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 all the sensations that the scents and and what have you um, and feeling this wave as it builds and and, and with these sort of tubes as they form so they blow out from the inside and you always see that with with in, in surfing videos and so on so how the wave almost ejects the surfer out but 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 is pushing from behind this blast of of, of air trapped air that is just seeking to get out get out get out um, as this wave tumbles and churns um, um, and then we, so we've got this back blast and, and, and as the from behind the, the curling the tumbling wave not only in front of it the foamy part but on the inside as well it, it, it kind of as it hits the surface so it also bounces back in both directions so we've got to feel that and this is why I'm always going on about feeling it. 
because I'm, I'm just trying to have a sensation of the intensity of this awesomely powerful wave um, as it as it builds and churns and adds momentum and uh, we'll start to hint at a little bit of this this the what the top of the wave just being taken off by the backwash of the offshore wind you know we call it an offshore breeze but this isn't more of a more of a wind than a breeze it's really taking it off it's, it's quite quite a strong gusty blustery sort of day <clears throat> as it often is in Cape Town <laughs> And then it's sort of out the, going out the picture, so out out of the out of the image area, out of the composition. But the mind then just completes the surrounds to this image area. That's what I lo love to play on. Is that is that there's this is just it's almost like the trailer for a movie. It just gives you a it gives you uh, an insight, but the mind fills in the rest. <clears throat> so it's more about what an artwork is more about what isn't said or what isn't shown than what is. What I like to, what I sit about trying to achieve or how I energize the artwork is is by inducing the minds to, to, to fill in a much more expansive story. Maybe that's the case and maybe I succeed in that, perhaps not. Um, I would welcome comment on that. Uh, so please, in, please say your piece in the uh, comment section below, down there. Um, by all means, say your piece. Um, ask your questions, whatever they may be. Uh, I always welcome comment, discussion about whatever I say. You know, so. Uh, Tell me how, tell me how this makes you feel. Slowly coming together. A lot of the highlighted areas, especially along the lip of this wave, uh, the crest of this wave, well, building to the crest and over into this this uh, crashing foam, um, will be achieved with acrylic paint in the final stages of this piece. So already you can see how the introduction of a little color um, has started to punch this piece forward and, and, uh, and really make it start to emerge as something, as a, as a more credible story.
So the outcome of the artwork is, is not predetermined. I don't, I've said this before, I don't, I don't like to have a preconceived idea of what this thing will look like in, in, in its completion. Um, that emerges along the way, along with the composition, um, the full composition. Um, I like to allow the artwork to form itself, to tell its own tale. to do especially in this yeah uh, well in this in this whole section yeah so uh, the white will will be the, the telling of it um, I'll be using my pellet knife I'm going to be using my eraser right now just to kind of smooth this out a little bit and then I'll add more texture and feeling and whatever to, to this water surface. So it's not all just smooth streaks. Um, I'll be using my palette knife to spread out the, the, the acrylic nicely. almost out of time for our 45 minute slot today yeah I'll also be using line work here to, to further soften and and also give these rocks more um, dimensionality reflective surface and all that stuff all that yummy stuff so yeah I need to look there's a lot more work to do we might have to push our last, our final session to uh, to the full hour. So be it. Um, so yeah, so far so good. It's coming together rather well. Um, a lot more work to do, as I said, but uh, we'll we'll push that forward tomorrow. So yeah, thank you for joining me. And uh, once again, um, like I said previously, please by all means comment, um, share, etc., um, like subscribe <laughs> welcome to any new subscribers that i might have and uh, hope you're enjoying the journey with me uh, so yeah i until next time uh, as we complete this piece i bid you oodles and oodles of toodles so in the meantime be good be kind be gentle be caring be loving etc etc um so yeah see you again next time folks take it easy and have a fantastic day further bye and don't forget to doodle. -doo.